the year 2020. What will it look like? And how will the Catholic Health Ministry fit into this new world? We could wait and see, or we can map our own course for our future. We have always been an important part of our country, an important part of the health care of our country, of the moral fiber of our country. And if we're going to be that into the future, we need to consciously plan for that and consciously make choices. And that's what we've done in the Vision 2020 process. And we hope that it will be very helpful to each system and each institution as they try to do that for their own individual facilities and the communities they serve. The idea is for this vision to be uh, not necessarily a how-to or roadmap to, to get there, but more of a, of a defining compass that keeps us moving in, in the right direction. The ministry needs a vision as the star that guides us towards the future. Uh, maybe it's our North Star for the Catholic Health Ministry. Imagine a future in which people take charge of their health and wellness. Imagine technology advancement that will enable major transformation in how we treat patients. Imagine that we will be able to meet the current and emerging needs of the most vulnerable. Imagine the moral compass we use to deliver care will be rooted in the core beliefs and shared values of our Catholic identity. If the vision's lived out as we've expressed it in the vision statement, it will call ministry leaders to a whole new level of performance and collaboration. We will have to work together in ways that we have never done before. Well, if the vision is good, it must impact organizational strategy uh, because what a vision should do is take your fundamental values and then intersect it with the world you live in. The vision is so important today due to the fact that healthcare reform charters a new unchartered water for us as we move forward and having solidarity of perspective with our Catholic ministry will help us really to achieve and to lead the transformation of healthcare in this country. In order to make this vision real, I think we have to take into account the difference between theory and practice. In some respects, this vision is a theory of what we think healthcare should look like in the year 2020. In times of significant change, like we have today with healthcare reform, it's very important for the Catholic Health Ministry to have a clear, inspirational vision that will guide our activities for the near term and into the future towards 2020. The Congresses of uh, religious congregations that uh, endured tremendous hardships in founding our hospitals and, and seeing them through uh, change, which is every bit as dramatic and, and uh, transformational as what we're undergoing now. So we, we have a, a, a very rich heritage to build on, and we need to draw on the strength from that. One of the things that this new vision calls us to is a greater attention to our distinctiveness as a Catholic ministry within the church, a ministry in which there are many, many, many stakeholders, some not even of our faith, but who believe in this ministry and who have staked their lives on it. The poor, the vulnerable, immigrants, those who seem to be left behind even with our new health care reform, they're all counting on us. And we have to um, build on our commitment and our distinctiveness as a Catholic ministry. Inspired by the gospel and grounded in our beliefs and values, the Catholic Health Ministry will serve as a compass to guide our nation through the complexities of an evolving healthcare system. Over the next decade, we will collaborate, promote innovation, and generously share knowledge to improve the health of individuals and communities. Together, over the next decade, we will continue to champion the sanctity of life from conception to death, lead the development of sustainable, person-centered models of care across the continuum, meet the current and emerging needs of vulnerable persons, engage all who are called to serve through a ministry-wide commitment to formation, and broaden and deepen our relationships within the community of the church. And by 2020, our vision will become the reality of the Catholic Health Ministry. 
I'm really proud to have been a part of this process and claim this. This is our vision. This is, this is, this is our vision. This is, this is our vision. This is our, our vision. This is our vision.